New Scientist, first published on the 22nd of November 1956, is a weekly English-language magazine that covers all aspects of science and technology. New Scientist, based in London, publishes editions in the UK, the United States, and Australia. Since 1996 it has been available online. Sold in retail outlets paper edition and on subscription paper and or online, the magazine covers news, features, reviews and commentary on science, technology and their implications. New Scientist also publishes speculative articles, ranging from the technical to the philosophical. History The magazine was founded in 1956 by Tom Margeson, Max Raison and Nicholas Harrison as The New Scientist, with issue 1 on the 22nd of November, priced 1 shilling 5 pence as 20 shillings in the pound, 1 pound and 23 pence today. The British monthly science magazine Science Journal, published 1965–71, was merged with New Scientist to form New Scientist and Science Journal. Originally, the cover of New Scientist listed articles in plain text. Initially, page numbering followed academic practice with sequential numbering for each quarterly volume. So, for example, the first page of an issue in March could be 649 instead of 1. Later issues numbered issues separately. From the beginning of 1961, the was dropped from the title. From 1965, the front cover was illustrated. Until the 1970s, color was not used except for on the cover. Since its first issue, New Scientist has written about the applications of science, through its coverage of technology. For example, the first issue included an article, Where Next from Calder Hall, on the future of nuclear power in the UK, a topic that it has covered throughout its history. In 1964 there was a regular, Science in British Industry section with several items. An article in the magazine's 10th anniversary issues provides anecdotes on the founding of the magazine. In 1970, the Reed Group, which went on to become Reed Elsevier, acquired New Scientist when it merged with IPC magazines. Reed retained the magazine when it sold most of its consumer titles in a management buyout to what is now TI Media. Throughout most of its history, New Scientist has published cartoons as light relief and comment on the news, with contributions from regulars such as Mike Payton and David Austin. The Grimbledon Down comic strip, by cartoonist Bill Tidy, appeared from 1970 to 1994. The Ariadne pages in New Scientist commented on the lighter side of science and technology and included contributions from Daedalus. The fictitious inventor devised plausible but impractical and humorous inventions, often developed by the fictitious DREADCO Corporation. Daedalus later moved to nature. Issues of the New Scientist from issue 1 to the end of 1989 have been made free to read online. Subsequent issues require a subscription. In the first half of 2013, the international circulation of New Scientist averaged 125,172. While this was a 4.3% reduction on the previous year's figure, it was a much smaller reduction in circulation than many mainstream magazines of similar or greater circulation. For the 2014 UK circulation fell by 3.2% but stronger international sales, increased the circulation to 129,585. See also hashtag website below
In April 2017, New Scientist changed hands when RELX Group, formerly known as Reed Elsevier, sold the magazine to Kingston Acquisitions, a group set up by Sir Bernard Gray, Louise Rogers and Matthew O'Sullivan to acquire New Scientist. Kingston Acquisitions then renamed itself New Scientist Limited. Topic Modern Format New Scientist currently contains the following sections, Leader, News upfront, Technology, Opinion interviews, Point of View articles and letters, Features including Cover article, Culture Lab book and event reviews, Feedback humor, The Last Word questions and answers and Jobs and Careers. A Tom Gold cartoon appears on the letters page. A reader's letters section discusses recent articles and discussions also take place on the website. Readers contribute observations on examples of pseudoscience to feedback, and offer questions and answers on scientific and technical topics to last word. New Scientist has produced a series of books compiled from contributions to last word. There are 51 issues a year, with a Christmas and New Year double issue. The double issue in 2014 was the 3000th edition of the magazine. <laughs> Staff and contributors The Editor-in-Chief is Emily Wilson, Executive Editor is Graham Lawton, Managing Editor is Rowan Hooper and Editor-at-Large is Jeremy Webb. Consultants include Fred Pierce Environment, Marcus Chown Cosmology, and Linda Geddes Biomedicine. Simon Ings and former editor Alan Anderson are contributors. Topic: Editors of New Scientist. Percy Cudlip, 1956 to 62. Nigel Calder, 1962 to 66. Donald Gould, 1966 to 69. Bernard Dixon, 1969 to 79. Michael Kenwood, nineteen seventy nine to ninety David Dixon, nineteen ninety to ninety two Alan Anderson, nineteen ninety two to two thousand Jeremy Webb, two thousand to oh eight Roger Highfield, two thousand and eight to eleven Sumit Paul Chowdhury, twenty eleven to eighteen Emily Wilson, 2018 present. Topic Website The New Scientist website carries blogs, reports, and news articles. Users with free of charge registration have limited access to new content and can receive emailed New Scientist newsletters. Subscribers to the print edition have full access to all articles and the archive of past content that has so far been digitized. Online readership takes various forms. Overall global views of an online database of over 100,000 articles are 10.8 meters by 7 meters unique users according to Google Analytics, as of January 2019. On social media there are 3.5 meters plus Twitter followers, 3.5 meters plus Facebook followers and 100,000 plus Instagram followers as of January 2019. Topic spin-offs New Scientist has published books derived from its content, many of which are selected questions and answers from the last word section of the magazine and website, 1998. The Last Word. ISBN 978-0-19-286199-3-2000. The Last Word 2. ISBN 978-0-19-286204-4-2005. Does Anything Eat Wasps? 
ISBN 978-1-86197-973-5-2006. Why Don't Penguins Feet Freeze? Selections from the first two books ISBN 978-1861978769-2007. How to Fossilize Your Hamster. ISBN 978-1-84668-044-1-2008. Do polar bears get lonely? ISBN 978-1-84668-130-1-2009. How to make a tornado, the strange and wonderful things that happen when scientists break free. ISBN 978-1846682872-2010. Why can't elephants jump? ISBN 978-1-84668-398-5-2011. Why are orangutans orange? Science questions in picture. ISBN 978-1-84668-507-1-2012. Will we ever speak dolphin? ISBN 978-1-78125-026-6-2014. Question everything. ISBN 978-1781251645 Other books published by New Scientist include, The Anti-Zoo 50 Freaks of Nature You Won't See on TV e-book based on the website's Zoologa column Nothing, Surprising Insights Everywhere from Zero to Oblivion. Compilation of articles previously published in the magazine. ISBN 978-1615192052 New Scientist, The Collection Series of e-books on specific scientific topics VOL1 The Big Questions, The Unknown Universe, Guide to a Better You, The Human Story VOL2 Our Planet, Being Human, Medical Frontiers, The Human Brain, 15 Ideas You Need to Understand VOL3 Discovering Space New Scientist has also also worked with other publishers to produce books based on the magazine's content. 1992 Inside Science, edited by Richard Fifield, published by Penguin Books. ISBN 0-14-014570-2-1992 The New Scientist Guide to Chaos, edited by Nina Hall, published by Penguin Books. ISBN 0 14 014571 0 in 2012 ARC, a new digital quarterly from the makers of New Scientist, exploring the future through the world of science fiction and fact was launched. In the same year the magazine launched a dating service, New Scientist Connect, operated by the Dating Lab. A Dutch edition of New Scientist was launched in June 2015, replacing the former Naturwetenschap and Technique NWT magazine. The monthly magazine, published by Veen Media, is sold in the Netherlands and Belgium. Since 2016, New Scientist has held an annual science festival in London. Styled New Scientist Live, the event has attracted high profile scientists and science presenters. Criticism <coughs> 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 Topic. Greg Egan's criticism of the M-Drive article In September 2006, New Scientist was criticized by science fiction writer Greg Egan, who wrote that, "...a sensationalist bent and a lack of basic knowledge by its writers," was making the magazine's coverage sufficiently unreliable to constitute a real threat to the public understanding of science." In particular, Egan found himself, "...gobsmacked by the level of scientific illiteracy," in the magazine's coverage of Roger Shawyer's, "...electromagnetic drive," where New Scientist allowed the publication of, 
meaningless double talk designed to bypass a fatal objection to Shoya's proposed space drive, namely that it violates the law of conservation of momentum. Egan urged others to write to New Scientist and pressure the magazine to raise its standards, instead of "...squandering the opportunity that the magazine's circulation and prestige provides." The editor of New Scientist, then Jeremy Webb, replied defending the article, saying that it is, "...an ideas magazine. That means writing about hypotheses as well as theories." <laughs> Darwin was wrong. Cover In January 2009, New Scientist ran a cover with the title, Darwin Was Wrong. The actual story stated that specific details of Darwin's evolution theory had been shown incorrectly, mainly the shape of phylogenetic trees of interrelated species, which should be represented as a web instead of a tree. Some evolutionary biologists who actively opposed the intelligent design movement thought the cover was both sensationalist and damaging to the scientific community. Jerry Coyne, author of the book Why Evolution is True, called for a boycott of the magazine, which was supported by evolutionary biologists Richard Dawkins and P. Z. Myers. See also Citizen science A first use of the term, "'citizen scientist' was in New Scientist in October 1979 List of scientific journals Nominative determinism A first use of the term, "'nominative determinism' was in a December 1994 issue